saved the best for last. We really did. Uh, I've seen Lou Brown before. He's been on stages with uh, Ron LeGrand and a lot of the other uh, mm, seasoned veterans, we'll say. Uh, quoted by an expert by many publications, as Lou draws a from a wide and varied background as a real estate investor, he has been called the guru. So, without further ado, please put your hands together for Lou Brown. Okay, so how's everybody? Good. Some people say fair to Midland. Some people say partly cloudy. What I say is fantastic. How's everybody? Good. Fantastic. That's a good thing. Well, I've got a little bit of information to share with you. I know it's the end of the day, and hopefully, how, has this been a valuable day for you? Yes. Well, my plan is to make it even more valuable for you. You know, I have been buying, holding, and selling real estate now for over 40 years. Is that a cool thing? Yeah. Yeah, baby. I bought my first house when I was 18 years old. And I have been doing this game, and I've really been able to perfect some things about this business that is going to be unique to a lot of you. Things that you haven't thought of before, things you haven't done before in your business, things that we have done in our business, and that's what I wanted to share with you today. So, we'll see if uh, we got the machine going, huh? Uh, it, it's, uh, the machine's not going. <laughs> All right, so uh, the cool thing is we knew that all of you have gotten snippets of information today, right? There's not been any training per se, there's been snippets of information. And one of the things that we discussed was with John, John said, look, you can do what you want to do in terms of training. So tomorrow, I'm going to be doing a full day of training at the Hilton over by the airport. How many of you know where the Hilton over by the airport is, right? So I'm going to be doing a full day of training. Now, why is that valuable to you? Because I've been at this game for 40 years, and I know what works and I know what doesn't, and there's some things that I'm definitely going to share with you about who we are, what we do, how we operate, and how you can build an amazing business. You know, it's been interesting to listen to several of the speakers. Some of them have said, well, you know, in order to protect myself, what I do is I buy each property in its own LLC. And you've heard some conversation about LLCs, for example, right? Well, since 1985, Every single property that I have purchased has been in a thing called a trust. Now, trusts are the most amazing entity on the planet, period. And I will go against anybody else's opinion about any other entity. And the reason for that is trusts offer four different things that you cannot get with any other entity. Not only can you get probate or no, not only can you get uh, protection, but with a trust you can get privacy. Now imagine that each one of your properties were in its own trust. Would that be a cool thing? Yeah, yeah. You might think yes, you might think You might not know what you don't know. How many of you know that you don't know what you don't know? Is that true? Yeah. <laughs> it's so true in life, isn't it? So that's one of the things that I discovered is that when you are exposed to something that can solve a problem you don't even know you have. And that's a thing called probate. When someone passes away, that death creates a lawsuit in the probate court. Basically, the judge has to take the assets from the dead person and give it to the rightful living heir. Is that true? That can be avoided when you already have placed your property into a trust, then no probate is necessary. How many of you like that plan? Now imagine that you put each property in its own trust. How many of you like that plan? Now imagine that you had the paperwork to do that with. 
So one of the things I wanted to share with you tomorrow is the, uh, the amazing lessons that I have learned from these amazing things called trusts. And we're going to spend some time on that, and I'm going to train you on that, and you can come with your questions. Now, I'm very proud that I have just created a new book. My book is called Buy, Hold, Sell. Now, this is an international bestseller. I just launched it actually a few weeks ago. Very proud of it. It is the culmination of about 10 years of work and 40 years of experience where I've taken some of my best ideas, my best experiences, my best results, and I've put them down in writing. How many of you love that plan? Now, those of you here at the event, I'm giving an extra five bucks off so you don't, you can take it with you. I'm happy to uh, sign that. But I wanted to share with you some ideas that you could take away. And one of the reasons they wanted me to kind of close up shop today is to give you some things that are valuable takeaways. How many of you are in for that? Valuable takeaways, things that you can do in your business, with your business. Now, there's a lot of folks out there that you may know. You may know Sherman Raglan. You may know Robert Sheeman, Alan Calgill, Van Merrill. How many of you have seen any of these people before and know who I'm talking about, right? How about uh, Dan Duran, Richard Roop, uh, doesn't want her name used, <laughs> Steve Jackson, Jeff Collars, Robin Thompson. How many of you know Robin Thompson? Uh, Tim Mai, Mark Jackson. Patrick Riddle, Gary Boomershine, Lee Parker, Ron LeGrand, Albert Lowry, Duncan Weirman, uh, Kathy Kennebrook, Mark Sumter, Curtis Brooks, Larry Goins. How many of you have seen some of those folks up there before, right? How many of you believe there's some successful people up there that have done anything? Well, I'm very proud to say that they have come and learned some things from Lou Brown and have built amazing real estate businesses. So I'm very proud that uh, I count them as customers. Dave Lindahl, Preston Ely, Cameron Dunlap, Pat Martin, Jason Rodriguez, Lee Phillips, Lou Castillo, Bob Massey, and so many others, including Bob Diamond, Bob Leonetti, and so many others. So these are folks that I have trained over the years and given them some ideas about what to do in their businesses. Now, in my world, I have been in a lot of different arenas in terms of real estate. I've done it just about everything. So I've developed land, I've done apartment buildings, I've done single family homes, I've done hotels, I've done a lot of different things in real estate. And one of the cool things is that I was the vice president and president of the Real Estate Leadership Association of America. I took that organization and transformed it into National RIA. How many of you have heard of National Real Estate Investors Association, right? So I transformed that into National RIA in 1993. There's over 40,000 members of National RIA to this day. Now currently, and I'm President Emeritus of the Georgia Real Estate Investors Association, and I was the Chairman of the Small Owners Council of the Apartment Association. So there's lots of things that I've done as a volunteer in our industry, and I just wanted you to have a little bit of background about who I am and what I do so that you can understand that I'm giving you some information that's real, it's authentic, it's things that I've done in my business as well. They call me the nation's leading expert on buying, selling, and holding property the most profitable way. So one of the things that I wanted to share with you today is that how many of you are into holding property? How many of you are into the residual income of holding property? Yeah, baby. Now, <laughs> that's a beautiful thing. Every time you hear something you love, I want to hear, yeah, baby. Let's give it a try. Yeah, baby. Yeah, baby. That's a beautiful thing. So what I've been able to do in my world is create an amazing residual income business. Now, most landlords, you make whatever your cost of funds is, and then what you rent it for, there's a differential there. Is that right? Yeah. And that's your profit. Is that right? Yeah. How about if you had 
25 more profit centers over and above that differential. How many of you be into that? Yeah, baby. That is what we do in our business. We have pet fees, pet rent, extra person rent. We have move-in fee instead of security deposits. These are some of the things I'm going to be teaching you tomorrow. We get option fees. We get down payments. There's different things that we do with our folks that are different than the traditional landlord. I want to encourage you, landlording can be a pain in the neck. How many of you agree with me there? There can be pain and suffering. But that can be avoided when you give people an opportunity, an opportunity to change their lives, an opportunity to have a better life than the one they've got. How many of you like that? Now, I wrote a book called Doing Good While Doing Well. That's an Amazon bestseller, Doing Good While Doing Well. How many of you want a business that just does money or a business that helps people too. How many are into helping people too? Well, you see, there's a lot of folks out there that the only opportunity they have is to rent. They haven't been given any other opportunity. We've got a different plan. I want to share that with you. So cool thing, I went back to my hometown in Charlotte, North Carolina, the house that I bought when I was 18 years old and I sold it two years later for a 37% profit, is still there. Is that a beautiful thing? It sure is. Now, I was raised extremely poor. I was raised by a single mom. My mother came over on the Queen Mary. She was a war bride. She had met the, the love of her life, her American trooper husband. Everything was going to be great. She found out he was an alcoholic and an abuser. She had to get rid of him. And then she met my father, her second mistake. <laughs> <laughs> so it ended up just being the two of us. Now imagine, nobody else in the country, no brothers, sisters, cousins, uncles, aunts, grandparents, nobody but just the two of us. So the cool thing was I was able to come from a life of being raised in a very inexpensive apartment, very challenging place, no money to where I am today. And it was real estate that did that. And I want to share with you that because of the fact that someone mentored me, someone said to me at eight years old that the duplex that she lived in, she had just bought. And she said the people on the other side we're paying enough money to cover that mortgage. And that meant they were living for? Now here's this impressionable young guy, this kid. And somebody said, they're living for free. And that's when I found out there's parallel universes. The people with knowledge and the people without. And my mother and I happened to be the ones without the knowledge. And she had knowledge that was very special to me because of the fact that she was able to live a different life. We were hiding out from the rent man, and she was the rent man. Then she bought the duplex next door, and the next one, and the next one. She ended up with five duplexes on the same street. Then she moved to a brand new house on a corner lot, all brick home, amazing life. And I realized what it would be like if I could just pay attention to this lady. Well, she's the one that told me you need to buy a house. She's the one that said at 18 years old that I could buy a house. Now, back in the day, they had a thing called NENQ loans, non-escalating, non-qualifying loans. For $45, you could step in and take over somebody else's loan. How many of you love that plan? Is that a beautiful thing? Well, he took it away from us. <laughs> However, this magical thing called trusts, i got to share with you. It's an amazing thing. 
Because ladies and gentlemen, I stand before you over 40 years in this business. I have never been to the bank. I have never qualified for a loan. Unlike Aunt Mabel, I found out that I could buy property without going to banks and qualifying for loans. I discovered that even when they took away the non-escalating, non-qualifying loans, that I could step in and do something else. You see, because I read that law, the Garn St. Germain Federal Depository Institutions Act of 1982 gave the banks the right to put the due upon sale clause in the mortgage. However, when you read the law, what you discover is there's an exception. When someone places their property in trust for estate planning purposes, the lender is prohibited from calling the loan due. How many of you love that plan? So I developed a strategy, a process, a presentation to my sellers to allow my sellers to be in a position to be the bank. So what happens is I'm able to step in, take over their existing financing on the property, and if there's any equity above that, show them how they can be the bank. Now, I want to teach that to you. How many of you want to learn that? That is, my friends, the way that I have done over a thousand transactions in real estate. I've never been to the bank. I have never qualified for a loan on a single family or small multifamily property. Now, I feel that if I can share that with other people, you can have an amazing life too. How many of you want to stay out of the banks? I do not love banks. I've seen what they do. I've seen what they do to people. I've seen what they've taken. They get them to sign things. They don't even, you had the lawyers up here saying people don't know what they're signing. They don't know what that operating agreement says. Well, guess what? You don't know what your mortgage says either. And so those banks get you to put everything you've got into one pot. And then they get a lien against that pot. And whenever they feel unsolvent, they can take everything you've got. So this is important. How many of you think you'd be better off if you just never had a loan in your name? That's, that's what I want to teach you. Now we have an opportunity. It's a step-by-step -step process. And some other things I wanted to share with you. I've got some questions. Do you like dependable? <laughs> Do you like dependable, predictable monthly income? How many of you are into that, right? All right, so that's my world. That's what I believe in. Buy, hold, sell. And in the holding process, you're able to create an amazing cash flow for yourself and your family. And that's exactly where people miss it. So I'm going to share with you a real great takeaway. Now, how many of you are into wholesaling? I want to I want to buy and wholesale out to other people and let them do whatever they do with whatever it is but in the meantime I'm just buying and selling I'm getting a fat check in between is that a, is that about how it works right let me share with you that Lou Brown buys from wholesalers I am happy 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 <laughs> to buy from wholesalers. And I beg wholesalers, I say, would you please come to my class? I want to show you what I do with these properties. And they say, I'm busy. And I say, I know. You don't have to be that busy. And they say, I know, but I'm busy. So let me show you what it looks like. How many of you want a $10 million retirement plan? I'm gonna show you a formula tomorrow, exactly what I've done in my own business. I've helped many people across the country to build an amazing business where they have this kind of residual income. Is that a beautiful thing? 
yeah, baby, that's a beautiful thing. <laughs> so, uh, the media and the experts say that I'm the nation's leading expert on this. So, what we're going to talk about is Willie Wholesaler. Now, you're going to love this. Willie Wholesaler and Helen Holder. And we're going to compare the two. And we're going to see what their life looks like. So, Willie Wholesaler buys and sells 10 deals a year. Would that be a cool thing? Yeah, yeah baby. That'd be cool. Now, wholesalers don't tend to make a big fat difference between what they buy it for and what they sell it for. Is that true? True. Tends to be, you know, maybe 3000 5000 Sometimes you get lucky, 10000 But generally speaking, you're not going to make more than 5000 Why? Because you got to leave some on the table. Some on the table for the other guy, right? Yeah. Otherwise, they wouldn't be interested in buying it, right? There's no way they're going to buy it from you if you're not leaving them some, some cash on the table. So, good old Willie, he makes $50,000 a year. And to make this, he's got to do... 10 more next year, right? To make another 50000 next year to pay his bills. Now, he gets no added profit centers in that plan. The thing I was telling you about, about that differential and what that looks like, it's an amazing thing. And he has to pay huge taxes. Short-term capital gains tax, 22% federal income tax rate. So that means good old Willie, he ends up with about $39,000. Less state tax, too, and no retirement income. Now let's take a look at Helen. Now Helen, she's busy, too. She's got a business, and she, she works for somebody, and she's going to buy three deals a year, just three deals a year. Now here's what Helen's life looks like. Now let's say that they're $50,000 each. I know, I know, maybe your neighborhood is $500,000. Just add a zero, everything will make sense. <laughs> it really does. I'm going to show you the formula. I'm going to show you the formula about exactly how this works. Now, good old Helen, she's learned from Lou Brown. She learned how she could borrow money from people's IRAs, 401ks, people with checkbook money. Are there people with checkbook money out there? Yeah. yeah. Sitting earning 0.0%. .0 sitting there. Money that could be working. Now, here's what happened in Helen's world. So Helen has learned that you can borrow that money, which is exactly what I do on my deals that are cash deals. I'm able to get that money, that cash, from private money sources. So, again, staying out of banks, not qualifying for loans, found out there was another way I could borrow money at 4% and not be at risk. So, Helen's going to borrow that money and amortize the loans over 10 years, meaning pay off the loans over 10 years. So that's $1,518.68 times 120 months, or $182,000 total. Now, Helen's going to do something unique. You see, Helen went to my class. She learned about the path to home ownership. The path to home ownership is what we give our clients. So yes, we could rent properties, we could be landlords, but we offer something better to our folks. We offer them the opportunity to end up with home ownership. How many of you love that plan? So you see, we give them a hope, a vision, a dream of what their life can look like. Now imagine that's you offering that in your marketplace, making a difference in other people's lives. That's what this is about. So, now in Helen's world, she's offering seller financing. She's going to sell each one of these $50,000 houses. She's going to sell them for $100,000 each. Now, keep in mind, this is a formula that I'm laying out for you. So, now, Helen is going to get, by the way, when we do in-house financing, that's what we call it, in-house financing, we get at least 10% down from our clients. Now, when we give them the 10 percent, when they give us the 10 percent down, then we get thirty thousand dollars in cash per deal, plus 
Helen, because of the Dodd-Frank Act, you can add three points to the loan. Now, when are points typically paid? Up front at the closing, right? Up front at the closing. But we make the magnanimous gesture of financing the point into the loan. Are you with me so far? Yes. Now, we finance that, so the amount financed is $92,700 at 10.5% in this example. All right, so the monthly payment is $823.70. Annually, you can see the $98,84.46. She did three deals that year, so that's $29,000. 653.38 per year, less her cost of funds, her annual cost of funds on that. And so her cash flow then is 11,429.22 her first 10 years. Then it jumps to 29,653 per year for the next 30 years. Does Helen's life look different than Willie's. Yeah. Helen has a future, doesn't she? So 40 years net income on these deals is over a million dollars, one million three thousand eight ninety three sixty plus she got her original thirty thousand dollars down. How many of you love this so far? Does this make sense to you? You see, that's why I beg wholesalers, don't sell that thing, keep that thing, if you possibly can. But then they go, but it was a cash deal. Why was it a cash deal? I have many of my wholesalers, I'll have them go back to the seller and say, tell me about your existing financing on the property. I want to take over your existing payments. And they go, what? Yes. Now there's what I call magic words. When you say the right thing, in the right way, we make a presentation. That's the reason that people will listen to us. We make a presentation. And I'm going to teach you the presentation in the process. But it is really a cool process. And what happens in Helen's world, now let's say that Helen just keeps on buying now three deals a year for the next five years. So that brings Helen to a grand total of only 15 properties. Let's see what Helen's life looks like. So in five years, that's $5,019,468, and she got $150,000 in down payment cash money too. How many of you like that plan? Yeah. Well, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to my world. Welcome to the opportunity that you can have an amazing retirement. Welcome to the thought that you can hold on to some of these assets by purchasing them correctly, taking over existing financing, getting the seller to carry back financing, allowing you to have the opportunity to offer this on our Path to Home Ownership program. Now the way the poor Willie Poor Willie is only making $39,000 a year, and Helen is raking it in. You see, if you do something, I, I'm of the philosophy, and I'm amazed that people would have the gall to call themselves real estate investors when what they're doing is flipping. That's not investing, my friends. That is not investing. Investing is to do something today that produces a return forever. Is that a better plan? Yeah. So you decide what you want to do. Do you want to be in the business of the real estate business or do you want to be in a real estate investor? Investors do things differently. They get a different kind of mindset and they look at every opportunity that now you can create something that can pay you forever. So I've got an all-day training tomorrow for only $29. And what we're gonna, we're gonna provide lunch for you as well. Now, not only do you get to come, but I'm going to include, and you can get this today, and I'll be glad to sign it for you. You can get my brand new book, Buy, Hold, Sell, the international bestseller. Is that a good thing? Yeah, yeah baby, we're gonna make this really simple, really easy for you. 
to get on board. Now, some resources that I wanted to give you, write this down, streetsmartinvestor.com, streetsmartinvestor.com forward slash LUTUBE, L-O-U-T-U-B-E, LUTUBE. And that'll take you over to my YouTube channel. I've got over 100 videos there. I've got a lot of information about what we do. Some of these profit centers that I'm going to be that I have been sharing with you, they are there at YouTube. So become a subscriber. Uh, click the notifications so that every time I add videos to it, you're told about it. So that was streetsmartinvestor.com forward slash YouTube. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> now, uh, let's break this down. There are three major areas of a successful real estate business. There's buying, there's selling and holding, there's protecting all that you create. Those are the things we're going to focus on tomorrow. We're going to talk about how we are able to access deals that nobody else in the community knows about. How many of you would, be, would love to be able to get so-called off-market deals where they came as a regular part of your business? How many of you love that plan? Well, we have dialed in and perfected a way to be able to get deals that nobody else knows about. This is our world. We, we get the deal, we're able to negotiate it, purchase it, and sell it without anybody in the community knowing it was ever available for sale. How many of you love that plan? I'm gonna lay it out for you step by step tomorrow so you can understand exactly how you can implement it. Now, how many of you love the idea of buying and selling property within five miles of where you live? You like that plan? That is our target marketing. It's called a community-based business. So by creating a community-based business where people in the community know who you are and what you do, you're able to get deals that nobody else knows about. So I'm going to be zeroing in on that tomorrow. I'm going to tell you and, in fact, give you some information about how you can implement it tomorrow. When? I'm going to tell you exactly how to create the target market, how to dial it in, and how you can take advantage of it right away. So tomorrow again, it's 29, or, uh, how did I do that? All right, so it's 29 for one, 39 for two, and did you get the flyers there? All right, if you will fill that out, simply fill that out. Uh, I've got uh, Dennis and Ron here available to help you and they will be glad to take care of you and get you enrolled for tomorrow. We need to know what size room, we need to know how many chairs to set so that we can be available for you. We're gonna start at 8.30 in the morning. We're gonna go to about four o'clock tomorrow. Is that okay with you? How many of you up for learning some more from somebody that's been doing this for 40 years? That's exactly what we're making available to you. Now, Street Smart, oh, oh, by the way, if you want to get the book just on its own, you go to streetsmartinvestor.com forward slash buy, hold, sell. Buy, hold, sell. You can order the book and we will ship it to you. All right. And everyone who is coming here or is at this conference, you're getting an additional $5 off. So instead of $24.95, we're getting it for $19.95 here at the event or online as well. We've set that up for you. All right, Street Smart Investor buys and sells. So this is the other thing. Real estate investor. How many of you think that when people hear the term real estate investor, they don't feel so good? How many of you feel that that's not such a pretty name out there in the world? How many of you know what I'm talking about when they hear the term real estate investor? What do people think when they hear that term? It's a legal scam. What? Rip off. Rip off. Lying, cheating, stealing, money grubbing, good for nothing. Welcome to your industry. So how about this? 
What if instead you were a affordable housing provider? Does that sound better? We have built a brand around this. We are certified affordable housing providers. This is what we do within our neighborhoods. This is what we do within our communities. We give people the opportunity at home ownership. How many of you love that plan? Now guess what? That is very attractive to sellers. Sellers love the fact that their home is going to be used to help a deserving family end up with home ownership. Sellers will sell me their property even though I offered less than somebody else did because of what we're going to do with that house. Don't forget, they raised their kids there. You see, this, they, you know, grandma died in the back bedroom. Fido's buried in the backyard. You know, this is an emotional thing. And real estate investors try to come along and surgically remove the property from the people. You see, they want to see that their home is going to be used to help somebody else. And I'm telling you, it works. It works very well. We give our sellers a book. It's called Doing Good While Doing Well. So my licensees have the opportunity to have that book and give it to sellers when they go visit with them. Yep, that's the book, Doing Good While Doing Well. Now tomorrow I'm going to go over the presentation that we do with sellers so you can understand better exactly how the thing goes down. But it is really a work of art. We're able to buy a lot of properties this way. And again, other people don't know about these deals and we're able to get no competition deals. How many of you like no competition deals, right? All right, so we got the opportunity for you. This is a national program for you and your business. It's called the Path to Home Ownership. Now, the Path to Home Ownership is designed to help these folks to win. And you become the one that's offering it in your community. It's a membership program, giving people the opportunity to join, receive a bunch of benefits that you have brought to them. So we take a deserving family, regardless of credit or financial background, and we allow them to join one of our levels depending upon the amount of down payment they have to work with and their current situation. So let's say their credit and their down payment are the things that drive what happens. And yes, we do get people right off the bat from our marketing that actually are qualified to buy a home. They just don't know that they are. So we're able to discover that and sell them a home and make a profit right away. How many of you love this plan? Is this a good plan? All right, so how many of you are joining me tomorrow? Yeah, baby, that's what I'm loving. Excellent, excellent. All right, well, I'm looking forward to seeing you all. We're gonna be at the Hilton over by the airport. How many of you know where the Hilton over by the airport is in West Palm? Let me see. Uh, okay, good, good, good. All right, so on your flyer, it tells you the information. Uh, oh, it doesn't tell you about the Hilton, so that's why I had to tell you that part. Uh, but if you have to coordinate with someone to make sure or bring someone else with you, that's fine. When you, when you get and register today, then it's going to save you 10 bucks because it's going to cost you 10 bucks more at the door. Today, you'll get your book. And you'll be able to take that home and read some of the chapters and discover some of the information that I'm going to share with you. Come prepared with questions. We definitely want this to be a very valuable day for you. And, hey, I've been at this game for 40 years. You can't trip me up, baby. I've been doing it for a long time. And we want to help you to really have a better life than the one you've got. How many of you agree that that's the reason you came today? You wanted a better life than the one you got, right? Well, the, you're brilliant. You're brilliant for making that commitment. You're brilliant for being here. Uh, it is a great step to take. When I was coming up through my years, I still go and learn. But when I was coming up, I went to everything I could. I wanted to learn as much as I could. And I started applying those things. And we've got an amazing multi-million dollar business per year in doing exactly what I'm teaching you to do. So you literally end up duplicating our business that we have locally in Tucker, Georgia, and we actually give you the opportunity to
be able to build a business like that in your local community as well. How many of you like building a business instead of just flipping a house, right? It's got a future to it, and that's one of the things we love to do. So thank you for your time. Thank you for coming. I hope this has been valuable. Has this session been valuable for you? Yeah, yeah baby. Thank you, thank you, thank you.